Welcome to Option Trades Today. I'm Tony the Bat Batista, and I know the date this time. It's September, September 5th. That's correct, 2024. And like we always do, we're going to take a quick look at the market before I show you one of these trades right here from the Bat Cave in downtown Chicago. Even the S&P is down 16 handles. We have had two-sided action today all day long. Surprising to me. NASDAQ down 6 basically unchanged. Russell down 14. That's down almost three quarters, five eighths to three quarters of a percent. That's a significant move in my eyes. Same thing with the Dow down 256. So you've got the Dow and the Russell a little bit weaker today with the NASDAQ and the E-mini S&Ps trying to uh, lift this market up a little bit. Thing that's confusing to me is volatility has been weak all day long. Even with the E-mini S&Ps down 15, forward slash VX, the daily volatility of movement is going lower, which would signify that maybe there's a little bit of an underturn, undertone of premium selling, which usually leads to markets going a little bit stronger, a little bit higher. So maybe we'll get a little bit of market movement to the upside one more time today. Bonds up three ticks. They were significantly higher going into the rate Fed cut. Quarter percent looks like a 60 percent chance, half a percent goes to 40% chance. My guess, I'll play the odds, it's closer to 60% uh, on that quarter percent move uh, in uh, interest rates. All right, what are we going to look at today? As I always do, I like to go to my watch list. I like to use the high option volume list. You can use whatever you like. I click this IVX five-day change. Um, volatility, as you can see, although it is down today, has been percolating. It's a lot easier to find some high premium trades. And I found one of the highest premium trades I think you'll find on the board in a liquid tight market instrument. Let me go down here or at least highlight it for you. When I put it in here, it will put it, make it gray on this little uh, list that we have here. I'll go down on my high option volume list. What I really do is I like to go through this whole list and come to the first name that I really recognize or like to trade. Like Tesla was the first one. Here you've got a really nice high IV rank of 56. You got earnings coming on the 16th inside um, the uh, expiration cycle of October. So I kind of threw it out. And Tesla's up $10 already today. It is mid-range. Maybe it was, you know, an iron condor or maybe a um, uh, strangle type, type strategy. But I think I found something even better than that. So I go down this list, try to find the stocks that I like, and I came up with coin. Look at coin. Ivy rank up by 6%. The Ivy rank is 41, but wait until you see the premiums that are in this product. And the premiums in this product for a reason. It's got a 70 plus percent monthly implied volatility. Go to the charts here just to see what premium has been doing over the last couple of days. You can see it's going up. It's starting to just about fade off right here with Bitcoin down near its lows. Now I've put on some bullish trades as of late in the market. So I'm gonna stay away from putting a bullish trade on in coin, even though it looks like a really nice directional contrarian play here. The premiums just for doing both sides just seemed, I don't know, they were they were compelling to me. So what do I like to do? I like to go closest to 45 days. That brings us to the October options, September options completely off the board. I really wouldn't wanna have any positions in September, although I do have an NVIDIA position, a one by two ratio spread, put ratio spread that's working out good. It was working out a lot better had I took it, took it off uh, in that 21 day time frame, but I still have it on today. So I'm going to October in coin. What am I looking to do? Typically, I would go out and I would have no problem with making this trade either. You go all the way out to that one standard deviation and you're getting, this is a 12 delta option, you're getting almost $2 and 60 some odd cents for the puts. You go equal distance or equal delta to the upside and you're looking around that same $2 and change for almost $5 in credit for $4,000 in buying power. You've watched this show. You know we use four or $5,000 in buying power. We typically don't get anything close to this on a one standard deviation or more, almost 79, 80% probability of success trade outside the expected move, which is this dotted line. I'd have no problem being a little less risk adverse than what I'm showing you, one way to get risk, risk averse is to go wider and collect less premium. I'm going to go a little tighter, making this trade a lot more about volatility contraction 
equally as much as direction. I'm going all the way up to the 25-ish delta, 23 delta on the put. I'm going to the 140 put, and I'm doing the same exact thing here. I'm going to delta. I'm going to the 200 uh, calls on here, 23 delta piece, which makes this completely delta neutral when I put it on, and I put it on right here at $10.42. I was able to get filled right at mid price. My mid price when I put this trade on was $10.42, and when I put it on, I tried 1045, 1044, 1043. I couldn't get filled till 1042, which was the mid price. 575 90 20 cents wide 15 cents wide 455 470 uh on the call to me using 5700 dollars worth of buying power and getting over ten dollars in premium is an excellent way or an excellent uh way to look at for a for a defined risk trade here to collect a lot of premium a lot of bang for your buck and that's exactly what i wrote here if you go to the follow page and you want to see the trades that i put on before i even come out with this podcast you can always go to the tasty trade platform on the follow page you'll see i just clicked on bob the trader here here's my trade from today that i did at 1009 uh, the stock now is a little bit lower than when i put the trade on the ivr is exactly the same at 40 uh, 41. I sold the strangle with a 67% pop, $10.42. I always put a little uh, description on what I'm doing here. It is a big bang. That's the credit I'm talking about for your buck. Big bang for your buck. The credit received into expanding IVR. Remember, we just looked at that 6% over the last five days. Good IV rank of 41. You can always see the trades I'm doing here. I'm looking to close that oil trade, by the way, at around 0.30 cents. Took a little heat on this, although we only put it on one day ago. We are up around uh, 70, 60, 70 uh, dollars, which is 0 0.30 would be $70 profit. That's what I'm trying to close it for. I was looking to make a buck on the overall trade. Hey, in 48 hours, if I can make 70 cents, 70% uh, of my profit projection, well, you know what? I would love to take that. You've got my Apple trade, which I've had multiple uh, rolls in. You also have all the different trades I put on here. You can get my closing trades, my opening trades. You can get them long before this podcast comes out. And look at the E-mini S&Ps. Surprisingly, down 22 now, 22.75, with volatility still down by 45 cents. That's a two dollar, a two and almost two and a half percent move to the downside. Remember, volatility usually goes up when the market goes down. Really confusing day, at least for me. But I know you're going to like that coin trade. Something else I know you're going to like, being able to go to the Tasty Trade platform, seeing all the trades that I make, Tom makes, Liz and Jenny, and everybody on the follow page. So please, open, move, transfer your account to Tasty Trade, the number one firm in the galaxy. Help us keep the lights on here.